Hey guys, this is Einar. I hope you're doing great today. Uh, welcome to your eighth tutorial in basic statistics in Excel. And today we're going to talk about how we can create frequency tables from raw data sets like this one. Um, so we'll get right into it. The first thing we need to calculate is the minimum value of our material. There's a function for this in Excel called minimum or min and I get the minimum value. I also need the maximum value, so I go to that, which is max, I select my data, and I got my maximum value. Uh, since we're going to create classes to, uh, to uh, put our frequencies in, we need to know uh, the, um, the range of our, of, our, uh, of our data, and we also need to know how many classes we want to have. So we begin by calculating the range. And the range is equal to the maximum minus the minimum. So this is the range of our data set. The difference between the person with the fewest Facebook friends and the person with the most Facebook friends is 178. Facebook friends, yeah. Uh, okay, so number of classes. Let's say just any number, like five classes, which is a lot considering that this data set isn't very huge, but let's just say five classes. Um, now we need to know uh, the class range because we need to know how large our classes are. So let's just calculate that. And what we do is we take our range and we divide it by the number of classes we want. So each class is 35.6 uh, Facebook friends long. Uh, let's round that up to uh, 36 which we can do by just decreasing the number of decimal points we have there. So it's 36. This is all we need in order to uh, uh, calculate our classes. So we begin by with the first class. Uh, let's write a, a, a heading here first. So for our frequency table. And let's make it bold so it's clear that this is a table. We uh, are going to place our classes here and our frequencies here. So uh, I'll start by writing in the first class, which will become 179. It will start at 179. And then it will range up to 179 plus the class, the class range. So let's calculate that first. So this is just a calculating area. So we take our uh, lower limit, which is 179, and we add. 36 to that, so the upper limit will be 215, so we write that there. Next, uh, our next class will begin at 216. Sorry about that. It will begin at 216, and let's add the class range. And it'll end at 252, so we write that here. That is our next class. Our third class, it's going to start at 253, and we're at our class range. So it's going to start at 253 and end at 289. We just continue doing this. St this one will start at 290. We add our class range, and we get 326. For fifth class, it's going to start at 327. We add our class range. It's going to end at 363. If you forget the numbers, you could always look here. 227 to 363. 327 to 363. And let's have a total here at the bottom. Okay, so we have our classes. Now we need to calculate our frequencies. <clears throat> so there's a formula that we're going to use in Excel that can be used for this purpose, and it's called count and then the period. No, just count and then if. Excuse me about the period, that's the Swedish version. Uh, so we need the, the range, and that will be our data material. And we need a criteria. 
So what is our criteria? Well, our criteria for the first class is everything below 215 will be included into this class. So we write apostrophe below or equal to another apostrophe, an ampersand, and our uh, upper limit, which is 215. And in fact, we can choose this one. We close this with a parenthesis and we hit enter. And I get two. Two people have between 179 and 215 uh, Facebook friends. We continue. Do the same thing here. The same range. The criteria. But now we take 252, which is the upper limit for this class. Now notice that, okay, if we only use this condition, this will also include the people who are in this, in this category, because it's less than or equal to 252. And I mean, 179 is less or equal to 252. So we need to subtract the frequencies from this class, from this class. So we hit enter, and I get two frequencies in this class. And we do the same thing here. We get our range, our condition, less than or equal to an ampersand, and our upper class limit. And we subtract the classes before that one. We get six. And then we just continue doing this. We got our range, our criteria, an ampersand and the upper class limit, minus the classes before that. Our range, less than or equal to an ampersand, and our upper class limit, minus the classes before that. And if we sum all this, we'll get the total number of frequencies, which is 15. Let's just check that to be sure. And we got 15 as a total number of observations. So this is how you create a frequency table using formulas uh, in Excel from a raw data set. Um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next tutorial and uh, have a nice day.